come up as this, and you'll always have them. It's Friday, you bastard. sweetheart. Happy anniversary. Thanks, Randy. That's amazing. Is this Randy Rhodes or Ellie Brecker? Come on. <laughs> Tell me the real story. She loved you. Tell me what the two of you have got going. Well, you know, uh, you know, I thought it was time she should do the story. She, uh, you know, she just, uh, she loves you. What can I tell you? I know that, but she loves my mom's mandel bread better. Now she likes the strudel. And the strudel. Yeah, she was big into Millie. She really was. Yeah. And I think she's going to write a book about her. No, Millie's going to write a book about her. She's <laughs> touching already. Wow, well, why did she write this? And I didn't say that. And she made me sound like an old kvetch. And I said, yeah. Oh, come on. I thought that was a nice little touch there. Yeah, a little touch. Yeah. People... So how you doing up there? Boy, Gary, by the way, uh, called me yesterday and he said, uh, tell Randy, don't worry about making that video because she won't be here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't my life a living hell? Boy, oh boy, what comes around uh, goes around. <laughs> Man, is I he really, her so bad. Is he really coming back? Huh? There? Is, uh, talk to Buzel. He's got nothing to lose. Let me put it that way. No, seriously. Is, is he going to really... That's, that's what I got to tell you. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, whatever you say. So... Talk to you, Dale. He'll tell you everything. Well, I'm sure glad they put that ravishing picture of you in my article there. That was lovely. Did you get that? Did I get what? What I said to you. About what? About, uh, people were calling me going, I can't tell if you like him or not. And I said, I love him. And, yeah. You know, so yeah, well, but what was that about the ticket taker at Neverland? What well, the I hell was that? Am I some kind of a child molester now or what? What does it, that mean? It meant that I know how you feel about religion. I said you had a, you could have had a lucrative career as a televangelist, right? Yeah. Because you love religion. And that, uh, and I also know how you feel about little Mikey there. Also, I thought that uh, he would get it. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say, okay. Whatever We're still trying say. to figure it out. Well, whatever. So when are you going to go to Vegas? Take little Mo Green there with you. Yeah. Give him a little massage. You mm -hmm. know what I'm talking he ain't about? Going with and us. I'll come back and give you some night numbers. He's not going with us. Huh? He's not going. No, take him there. Put him He's on not the little going or I'm staying table, here, I'll you know tell you that. Saying? Put yeah. some eyeglasses on him so with a bullseye. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, congratulations for getting out of here. We're hearing from all the lucky people. We hear from Ranieri <laughs> and a whole crew over there at Waxy and now Randy Rhodes from WJNO. Yeah, and we'll yeah. hear from all the lucky people that got the hell out of here. Well, listen, let me tell you something. And if you thought Boy Gary was fun, which I'm sure he'll be again, you ought to meet uh, Steve Nickel. <laughs> well, I did meet Steve Nickel. That's why I left. Uh, well, see, she's smarter than all the rest of us. <laughs> even, <laughs> even Adam is nodding on that one. That's right. <laughs> oh, my God. You can't even begin to believe it. Oh, yeah, I can. That's why yeah. I left. Just listen to those traffic reports. That'll tell you everything you need to know. Yeah. Well, it kills me. I get jealous when you worship somebody else's butt, you know. Well, listen, Randy, have a great life. Well, listen, Neil, I, I just want people to know that, you know, there's going to be a lot of people calling you today, and oh, yeah. I'm going to be paying their respects, but if it wasn't for you, I just don't think there, that I would have ever gotten started, and so... Well, I, I, really I don't do know, what, I don't know whether that's a plus or a minus, but, uh, you know... Yeah, I think about it, too. <laughs> okay, hang in there. I love you. We'll see you. Bye.
There you go, Randy Rhodes. Noon to 3, WJNO, 1230 on your AM dial. Let's promote everybody else's show. That's one thing I've always done for years. I'm not paranoid like those little butt suckers over there at QAM who dump everybody else's name because they're a bunch of paranoid little twerps. What are they worried about? They've been sold anyway. So what are they worried about? What have they got to lose? In fact, if they would start mentioning our names, they might get an audience over there, but I doubt it. Look at this. This is beautiful. It's a picture of a hippopotamus, and it says, No solamente uh, Hank Goldberg, también es un hippopotamo. You see that? That's cute. In Espanol, no less. And by the way, if you're going by the airport... Oh, I'm sorry. Look at all these cute faxes. Here's one from my dentist. Thanks, Gary. And there was one here from uh, Mark Tadino. Now, there's a guy. If we can't get JC in here, how about Mark Tadino? Let's see what he's got. I love you, Mark. Man, do I ever. Well, more so years ago. All kinds of good stuff in here. Thanks to uh, Sarah inside the building. They got balloons. They got a big thing on here. The only problem is, you know, Nora Bruto, who just came off the banana boat 20 or 30 years ago, they have him always put up the marquee signs in front. And I drive up to work this morning, and it says, Neil, thanks for 20 years of... And it's supposed to say, Oi! And he put a J in front of the... Oi! How do you like that? Because the Cubans, the Hispanics, they don't pronounce the J. It's always silent. Isn't that what it was supposed to say? Thanks for 20 years of... Oi! But hey. So that's cute. Thanks to everybody. Thanks, Sarah. Did she, did, what did she just say? Did she say, blow it out your ass? Probably. Something like that. No, it's cute. We got balloons. We got the helium ones, which I might take another hit of that a little while. But Bob Green is in there, all tanned up, which means he's probably playing celebrity golf again out there. And uh, here we are, 20 years later. You'll never make it six months in this town, man. You'll never last here six months. Let me say it again. That man is dead, dead, dead. It gives me so much joy to know that that caller, that particular one, along with many others, by the way, from the KAT days, but that one in particular, you know he's dead. There's not even a little tiny bit of flesh left on those bones. Even the worms are ignoring him now. How do you like that? Even the worst maggots and faggots are ignoring his little bony ass because there's nothing left, not even a strip of flesh. He's dead, and I'm still here 20 years later. How do you like that? Unbelievable. So this is really a very emotional day, and if you believe that, I told you, if you just pump this, if you start about six months ahead, it's kind of like our Vegas trip. We've started many, many months ahead, and you really just pump it and pump it and pump it and push it and plug it. And look at those Brower lines going out there now as we speak. That's okay. That, like, epitomizes what I was saying yesterday. That's, like, part of it. And by the way, how about that game last night, huh? That was pretty weak. Pretty bad officiating. Pretty weak effort all the way around. It was ponderous. If that game could have gotten any longer, I would just be coming in from the game right now. That was the slowest, the most monotonous, in addition to a just deadhead crowd with about 2,500 empty seats. It was uh, one of those things. We'll take the point, though. Thank you. It's all right. 10-13 at WIOD. The construction is still going on at Tropical Chevrolet, GOE Zuzu, and Miami Shores. And let me say it again. A lot of people drive by there. People who have been friends of theirs at Tropical for years. And they figure, well, they're closed because of all the Biscayne construction. We'll come back another day when they open up again. Well, guess what? They're open right now. And it's their big construction sale going on because of all the inconvenience and the BS that's going on. Just make them an offer because these cars that are on the lot right now will be sold dirt cheap. It's the big blowout sale. A brand new Chevy Cavalier Coupe two-door or the two-door with AC, dual airbags, anti-lock brakes, intermittent wipers, and lots more is only eleven thousand two eighty-eight. A brand new ninety-six Lumina with dual airbags, tilt wheel, automatic transmission, AC, AM, FM stereo is only fifteen thousand three eighty-eight. And Tropical has got at least a beautiful, pristine. At least a dozen beautiful Corvettes that you got to see in test drive. You won't believe it. And while the new Showman Tropical goes up, the prices are going down. That's good news for you. So get your ass in there. They're open for business. They're doing it bigger and better than ever. Tropical Chevrolet 8880 Biscayne Boulevard in Miami Shores. They've been there doing it for over 40 years. In date, call 754-7551. From outside of date, it's toll free. 1-800-525-7511. You're listening to Defoe's new Saturday morning show. You miss B.B. King. You miss Jessica Geary. You've missed the morning after with Jeff DeForest, 6 to 9 a.m. Saturdays on News Talk and Entertainment Radio, 610 WIOD. This traffic update is a service of the only sponsor we got. It's the parking lot now on the Palmetto Expressway. You know, we got the usual delays. It's a rush hour. We got a few collisions, one on 27th Avenue, another one on 47th Avenue. Could be northbound, I don't know. Could be eastbound. We 
we don't know. We can see nothing from this room. It don't have the windows. It's backed up a major problem all the way around the big curve. And I'm not talking about my ass. That's your eye spy. Don't shoot me out of the sky at traffic. From your traffic chica, I say yes, W-I-I-I-U-D. Okay. Neil's right. I suck. Do you think I could have the job, please? I've got a great ass. 1017, shut up already, sweetheart. So anyway, here's a fax that with a spy report. Oh, here's Fat Riches in here, too. Look at that. Being escorted in. Oh, my God. I cannot believe it. I am truly speechless. And this is your wife. Life. Well, wait a minute. Let me turn that on first. I'm just... You have milk bones for me. Yeah, we knew you were coming. Well, hell We knew that you won't show up unless we feed you. Yeah, well... And Fat Rich is here today. Now, did you guys come in together or what? Yeah. <laughs> yes, what? We bumped into each other in the parking lot. Oh. But, uh, right. Right. There was so much... Yeah, but his much... brother-in-law does uh, car repairs. So there was about so it. much love coming from this building. Uh, how <laughs> could I stay away? I mean, it's it's just unbelievable. Oh, my God! You know, and, and oh. I've, just, I've just heard you've just been saying wonderful things about me. I haven't heard them myself. Oh, thank God for that. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, oh my God! Uh oh! It's like when you, you know how when you have a bird call. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, you know how you have a bird call, and then all of a sudden the bird shows up. It flies out of nowhere. Which is live. It lands on tape. your arm, on your sleeve, and then drops a little number on you. How you been, Glenn? Well, I feel pretty good. Yeah, you look feel pretty a little good. older, <laughs> like all the rest of us, but, but generally the same. I got too much sun. I went swimming the other day, Did but, you? but it was wonderful. So it's so amazing to be down here in South Florida. Well, I must tell you, uh, I, I was uh, <laughs> this can't be happening. driving down. This I, is I had some uh, business to do in Fort Lauderdale today, so I'm driving down to Miami, and I, I'm on the 79th Street Causeway, and it was hot yesterday. Let me ask you, do you do traffic? <laughs> it was hot yesterday, yeah. and so I was thirsty, and I just <laughs> I just flew into Flores to get something to drink, you know? Yeah. I saw Depend Flores. I said, that's the place you to know, go. Now, when was this? Yesterday afternoon. You came in yesterday? Uh-huh. And uh, I walked up uh, to the, the guy standing behind. I walk up to the guy behind the counter, and he looks at me, and he says, you're Glenn, aren't you? I said, wow. He wow. Says, he says, right. I heard your cackle today on Neil's show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yeah. if that was the one or not. Left your spot, just like every other bird. He leaves his trademark behind, like I said, on your sleeve. Do you know what the significance of yesterday? The of you showing up in town yesterday? Sunny's Market reopened yesterday after a long hiatus. I saw hiatus. it, but I didn't know it had been closed. Sunny has Listen, reopened. Listen, I have you questions want to pick up about a good this fresh town. Fruit, I way. want you to answer my questions I have about this town. What happened to the television stations? I turned on the cable last night. I don't understand. NBC is on 6. Yeah. We were the weatherman is, is on 4. Brian Norcross, the weather fairy, is the news fairy now. Izzy? What's yeah. going on? <laughs> oh, no, Izzy is my painter. <laughs> How come we were the weatherman and Bob Mayer are on six? When yeah. did that happen? And how come Kelly Craig blew up like a bullfrog? What's going on? Have you seen her lately? Kelly Craig, my good, close person. You remember Kelly? Oh, your good, close, personal friend, Kelly she Craig? She loves me. Why, does she hate you? <laughs> I always knew I liked her for some reason. No, seriously, it looks like somebody stuck a bicycle pump up her ass and blew her up about 30 pounds. <laughs> come on, Kelly, get on that Atkins, sweetheart. When do the stations change By the way, you haven't again. seen how slim I am. Yes, Look you are. That. Not slim, but compared to... Look relatively. That. Yeah, relatively to the fat old slob that you were... Well, that's because I stopped eating all those meals every day we used to eat. Oh. I didn't come to eat lunch. Oh, that's we'll not why. Yeah, we'll oh, you will. But well, that's, here, that's not the reason here. I came. Anyway, I saw the Sun Sentinel article. I was in Boca yesterday. Yeah. I saw the Sun Sentinel article. Very nice. I you read were in the, Boca for what? Uh, I, I had to see some people in Boca. Yeah. And I picked up the paper and I was looking at the not article. Not Gary. No. And I and I saw. Oh, that's the story. Glenn's going to be doing uh, J and O. That's what it is. And I saw. When you start. And I saw my name in the paper. I thought that was very nice. I come to town and they put my name in the paper. And <laughs> I yeah. love. Well, I wonder who carded that Neil, up. You know how nice and tight that is. Yeah. <laughs> Neil comments on his colleagues, and then his colleagues comment on Neil. And this great quote from Larry King. I must say that quote was wonderful. What did yeah. it say? Neil is the worst. No, he said. Hi, this is Larry King, and they don't come any better than Neil Rogers. That's, That's what he right. Said. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Why? Are and then right at the end, he said, "Blow me fifty dollars." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> Did you hear that? In stereo. Larry King was on Letterman a couple of weeks ago. This is the most shocking moment of my life. Here and really is. they showed a picture. They took out a picture of Larry King taken yeah. at WIOD in 1963. Yeah. I must say, frightening. It was just... Had nothing to do with that. <laughs> so uh, The worst talk radio I've ever heard in my life was on WIOD. The worst talk radio I've ever heard in my life was on WIOD. Yeah. Come on, Larry. Give us a call, will you? I will not give it to you. Okay. I just... He's going to call in. You mark my words. He will be calling in. I'd say Oh, shaky. here's Brett with a whole bunch of stuff. I, w I wonder if he's got J.C. locked up inside of that thing. We have another guest for you. Yeah. Oh, my God. Tom Chicka. Look how fat he got. How you doing, Tom? Well, I'm not on the diet. <laughs> he's not on the Atkins. Pull up a seat down here. Sit down for a second. We'll see if we can get another lawsuit going. Yeah. So look at this. They're all showing up today. I wouldn't be surprised if Madeline Marie O'Hare shows up, hey, which we'll have to order double lunch. Uh, we'll pray that she comes. This is quite an... <laughs> yeah, right. Who do we pray to? Can you believe that? No, I was surprised coming in listening. Surprised? I'm surprised to see you. Well, yeah, I guess this is a day of surprises. This is a day of shock. Surprise. Day of total shock. Almost as shocking as the fact Melissa said nice things about me in your newspaper. I'm not. She Melissa's actually nice loves girl. me. She does. She's a and she's a nice person. Yeah. She's a, a nice if she just get away from that get... goddamn Super Dave, man, that guy. Do you know that she's at Pompano almost every night? Yeah, I know that. And by the way, I see that horse that they gave us last week. Thank God I left early. I he's wonder still about that. I said, don't give Neil a horse if you lose yeah, you'll he's the still running. Wally is still whipping and hitting him. He's still running. I spelled my name wrong, Tom, but I still appreciate oh, well. you putting it in the paper. No, I appreciate I come to town, my name's in your paper, you know? That's yeah, pretty yeah. neat. <laughs> Not everybody could do that. He hasn't lost it, folks. He still hasn't lost it. All right, let's do a break, and we'll come back to the Glen Hill Polka Show. I have that in there, by the way. I do have the Glen Hill Polka, which I'm sure you haven't heard in many years. But many, uh, many, it's, it's in there. many years. 1023 at WYOD. Speaking of Pompano Park, tonight's the night. We got the uh, Van Lennep uh, Trotting Series continuing. The finals tonight at Pompano Park. And of course, tonight being Friday, every Friday and Saturday, we got full card simulcasting from the Meadowlands. Along with the great harness racing action, there is fine dining in the top of the park dining room where you'll see all the action. Get a great meal at a reasonable price. Get touted by either uh, Melissa Ruggieri or Fad Rich. And be sure to join racing analyst Larry Albano for trackside handy cla uh, cl uh, clapping classes, too. Good times, great food, and great. See, it's rubbing off. Again, you brought it back, but your mic is off, thank God. Make for a great night out at Pompano Harness. I learned my lesson years ago. Take I-95 with the Turnpike 2, the Atlantic Boulevard exit in Pompano Beach. It's just a block south of Atlantic on racetrack and power line roads. Don't forget, every night except Tuesday and Sunday, they're doing it at Pompano Park post time, including tonight, 7.30. News Talk and Entertainment Radio, 610 W-I-O-D. Neil Rogers, God. Look at that. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just <laughs> totally... Uh if you missed the Neil Rogers way. show yesterday on 610 WIOD, you missed this. Is this the bird? Yeah. Bird, how you doing? Okay. Listen, do me a favor, play anything, because I can't stand listening to you. Uh, you sound like a douchebag. Do so I? Just do me a favor, play anything. Well, can I ask you a question before you go? Oh, God, you sound so stupid. I hate to talk to you. Yeah, go ahead. Well, why did you call me? I didn't call you. No, no, just to tell you not to say anything. Just play something. Oh, God, I can't stand it. Well, then why are you listening? Oh, play something already. Why won't you answer oh, my... Oh, I can't stand it. You won't, see, he won't talk to me. Oh, we got a car here. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> well, that sure brings back some great memories, don't it? Sure does. Now, did it? you say to the bird, let's do that show all over again. Let's uh, recreate that. Mm. I wonder if Joey's going to show up here today. I, I have my nose up Neil's ass. Wouldn't that be something for my 20th anniversary? The only thing that would be a bigger surprise if that guy showed up. Brian. Yeah. Brian was uh, stooping over a little while. We had to stand him up straight again. Brian's a little stooped, but uh, that's the way it goes. Now, Joey is doing uh, an overnight... Isn't that frightening? Yeah. Uh, from Nationwide WABC, talk show. Right. Nobody carries it down here, do they? No. God, no, he's God out of uh, WOR. Stan. <laughs> yeah. He's out of WOR. That's tough competition. Now, Stan... Oh, he's out of WOR? Yeah. I thought it was from ABC. No, it's OR. Oh, well, no wonder. It's like now, one... is he on after or before Arlene Francis? He's on like 1 to 5 in the morning. And does Stan do his show out of his house? No, that's like out of an orifice. Oh. Literally. Yeah, somewhere in Coral Springs, I think. Uh, somewhere. Yeah. And he's got some other uh, ultra right wing Nazi on there doing the uh, some other show out of that same studio. Oh yeah. So listen, uh, but just stand. Uh, now I know it. I'm ahead of you guys. Stan's coming today with that two grand. All right, oh. I knew it. 
I knew he was just waiting for the appropriate Thank God day. God stands asleep as we speak. Speaking, by the way, of people who are like down and out on their luck, you know our good friend, uh, Captain Dave? Yeah, where is he? Has, he hasn't called you? Can you believe it? Is he, I heard he was he in must California. must not know your number. You heard what day he's in town? California. California. And he called about two weeks ago on the air one day and uh, just out of the blue and talking about his struggling uh, non-career as an actor and seeking his fortune and all this other. And I just had a premonition that because he was calling on the air that I might just get a call at home. And sure enough, I got home and there was a desperate call on my machine. <laughs> what do you think he wanted? Money? <laughs> Neil, uh, send money. Well, see, you say that. It sounds so insensitive. He said... Blow me $50. Yeah. <laughs> and it was... And I said, I've had so many bad experiences, all I can say is... No. Henry Barrow is here with a little uh, something. <laughs> with a bottle of booze. <laughs> you notice how he keeps the decanter with him at all times? Oh, my God. Henry, how you doing? That was a quick... Uh, were you really over there when uh, Ranieri was on the phone, or was that just a taste? It takes forever <laughs> to get that taste and smell out of your system. Unbelievable. Yeah. The great Henry Barrow, who hasn't aged more yeah. than 20 or 30 years since he got out of here, is back. That's right. <laughs> yeah. How are you? I'm great. So you're doing the Dolphin Games this year again, huh? Oh, really? Back on the sideline. <laughs> yeah, that's the rumor that I hear. I hear they're going to Waxy. I just want to... Ron Harrison mind. and Henry Barrow. That'd be good. Because they hate us like poison. Wake us up once in a while. Yeah. So, now let's see. Are you and Mikey both drinking out of that same flask, or is that just uh, personal? Well, no, we have wine at nine every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. And Ron don't participate in that either, does he? No. no I'm sure we he have doesn't. a separate bottle for him. Yeah, good. That's great. He's probably going to call you again. He's driving and listening right now. Who's he had that? to go down to the keys. Ron Mikey Harrison. or Harrison, one of those guys? One yeah. of those guys? Well, that would be great. Can you believe that he's here? Yeah, I heard that coming in. It's shocking. terrific. It's yeah, shocking. it was shocking. He yeah. got sunburned. Now, who's bringing the food yes. here, by the way, uh, George? Is Flores coming by? with about? We have uh, four different people bringing food today. Oh, great. I'm not touching any of it, by the way. I'll sit here and watch everybody eat. You, it's fa you, know, the same, oh, yeah. you used to say the same thing ten years ago. Oh, thanks. Henry that's just gave that. me one of those uh, micro-nearies suppositories. That's, that's a beautiful thing. That's Thank a little hand-roll thing they did over time. Uh -huh. Yeah, I bet you they have a lot of hand-rolled things over there at Waxy. <laughs> well, th you're leaving? A little while. Oh, come in. Yeah, we don't want to take away Tom's thunder here. Tom is looking for an audience. Yeah. Well, Are you like in semi-retirement now or what? What are you talking about? Well, no, I mean... I I, three stories in the paper today. I understand that, but it's just like you're like keeping a low profile. You used to be all over the place. No, I'm doing that show tonight. Like I said, you're keeping a low profile. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what oh, you my fans? God. Oh, you're filling in for Kaplan. Yeah. Don't you wish you were on a station, though, where somebody could hear you at night? Well, if you're east of I-95, it's yeah. fine. I like the way that uh, Paxson has to have two stations. Be Are you in. aware of this, by the way? The no. Paxson has got, like, the heat. We're complaining they wanted to drop, uh, they wanted to get off the station because they wouldn't put him on the light bulb. So now he's on FTL to cover Broward is, and INZ to cover Dave. Is Pete Bolger on FTL? Pete Bolger is the PD of FTL. Yeah. He's gone from Zeta to INZ yeah. to the light bulb. And, and he's the program. And I understand that they have an opening at Piper High next week at KPX. So I think it's a little too upscale for Pete. Rose Folger, right, is the program director of FTO. Correct. Well, it's owned now by Paxson owns. Yeah, Paxson owns. Paxson owns, owns everything. He owns like 500 radio stations. Oh yeah, yeah. up there too. He up just bought too. two from a Russ in the Oasis. Russ keeps selling them stations. Going to buy the Panthers? No, he's not. Wayne will be the owner. In fact, you should write that in the paper on Monday. You should be the first guy. Wayne will be the owner. Take it to the bank. What about that million four? He's losing a month. <laughs> I think uh, Gary Bettman is going to make him an offer he can't refuse. I think the league may now, just, just subsidize a little bit. Are of you loss. saying? See, I'm out of. I'm like from out of town. I don't know what you people are talking about. What do you mean about? you're from out of town? Well, I don't live. We here were anymore. discussing just yesterday on this show the uh, house they used to live in in the uh, bird sanctuary yes. there on uh, in Kendall yes. on Sunset. Still standing Stands by every day. Do you? Yeah. Do you? Uh, I you heard you. Like yes. I heard you. Well, kind of. How do I put it? it uh, how do I put it with, with, when we're on the air? You got your uh, dump button ready? Do you go by and, uh, you know, tinkle on the site? As a matter of fact, my mother was looking for an apartment a year or so ago. She was thinking of moving down, and we stopped there. And I said, you know, you used to live here? And she said, who? I said, the bird. She said, well, let's go somewhere else. Ah! <laughs> um, I just noticed something. Yeah. I've been gone, what, three years almost. Is it three? And... and I would have thought you would have gotten rid of Randy's chair here, the one with all the stains oh, on it. Oh, that's the Randy Rhodes Memorial chair. <laughs> it's still here. And you'd be amazed at what other people have done on that since. Are you saying the Dolphins are leaving IOD? Is that what we you We have one more saying? year. 
one more season. And, and so then you can bet your life that they're leaving. You can go to the bank on it. And you think they'll go to the... Where do you think they'll go? I don't know, because there's all kinds. You see, Beasley just bought... You're out of the market. Beasley just bought QAM yeah. and The Kiss. Really? And uh, they don't want QAM. They want to sell it. I wouldn't be surprised if Wayne buys QAM and puts all the sports on there. Are you hearing that? Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing that. It's yeah. all sports anyway, isn't it? No, I, well, alleged, besides Lord Ice Limbaugh and all their 80 <laughs> fan sports bait. Oh, they run the Rush? That quickly? I mean, it was just bought by Beasley. Are you going to move it again that quickly? Oh, sure, they can do it. Don't you I understand know you the can, way it yeah. is now? It's like the FCC, it's like yeah. playing cards. It's this like a deck of cards. This is getting like what's-his-name show, the guy from San Francisco Alex with the chairs. And look what in. happened yeah. to him. Look yeah. what it did for him, yeah. Oh, you were, you were already out of here when uh, Alex Bennett came in. You see, we did you a real favor. Uh, I met him. Did you? Oh, yeah. How did you meet him? Alex Bennett, is that what you said? Yeah. Well, he came in, he tried out for that, and he came in and did your show for a week while you were on vacation. And uh, I uh, played sidekick. Did you? Yeah. To Alex Bennett? I swear to God. Do you think I'll ever forget it? You see, you didn't hear it because you, you were out of town. Then he got the afternoon show, and I may have still been here then. <laughs> from beautiful North Bay Village where yeah. he was busted by the police department for being a total loser. It's a salute to Alex Bennett. The man who constantly exercised his neck by looking over his shoulder. The man from California who didn't have a tan. The man who found it great fun to rip his fellow workers but when ripped himself turned into a sniveling, crying, complaining candy ass. The man who finally showed some semblance of intelligence when he packed his bags and got the hell out of town. One of the few men who could actually go back to an old job in an old town, telling old jokes and doing even older bits. We salute you, Alex Bennett. South Florida has never seen a bigger paranoid, a bigger backstabber, a bigger crybaby. Alex Bennett, you're a complete I, I think that might have put him over the edge, that promo. Yeah, that's him. That's a, that's, that how, was Alex, that's Alex yeah. I'm talking about. That's, that's the one. Oh, look at that, a bunch of cards. Thank you, Brett. Where's uh, Jake C., by the way? He's probably hiding in a closet somewhere now. So right. anyway, uh, Henry, I, it's nice to see you, but I thought it was one of the most tasteless things I've ever seen. When you came into the news booth this morning and said to Maribel, I have just tasted your snack. <laughs> I thought that was the most grotesque, tasteless thing, so to speak. I was trying to think, when was the first time I ever met you personally? Yeah. And I remembered it was at a Rod McEwen news conference I was sent to cover. Right. In which you stole the show. I did? Yeah. By doing what? He, he held a news conference before Rod McEwen oh. and chatted with everyone. I don't even and remember And by the time that. Rod McEwen came out, it was during uh, the Anita, Anita Bryant. Bryant yeah. Oh. But you know where it was? It was in that, it's a fish market yeah. now up there on Biscayne. That's, right. <laughs> That's where it was. No, it is. It's a fish uh -huh. market. <laughs> and we had rented that for the uh, meetings of the Dade County uh, fans or whatever yeah. it was. Look at what? Look at that person standing there. You know that person? Suds? I hadn't seen him in a long time. Yeah. It was just neat to see him. Yeah, that person. There yeah, he is. That person and there. And Adam and George and Tom and Dick and Harry. There you go. <laughs> oh, Tom and Dick are there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least Tom. <laughs> so anyway, 1037. Let me do a little uh, bit. we got a lot of spots here, okay? So don't uh, just dummy up, Glenn. 23 to 11 at WYOD. What do you hate the most when you buy a new car? Probably those sales holes, those high-pressure salesmen. That's a big pain. That's why a lot of people hate shopping for a new car. And if you don't like those TV spots that Mark Jacobson runs, you don't have to watch those either. All you got to do is go into Kendall Toyota, look on the windshield of each and every beautiful Toyota, and mark very clearly, like in big, like almost in Braille, in big letters there on the windshield, is the price, the one lowest price ever. So no dickering, no hassling, no haggling, just the best Toyota prices anywhere in the world, like Tercel's, starting as low as 80 995 Corollas from just 10,995. Camry starting at just 13,995. Pickups from only 9995. Just pick out the new Toyota you want. That's the absolute lowest price right there in front of your puss. Head for Kendall Toyota on US1 just south of Dateland. Of Florida. Baseball players are getting ready for the new season and so are we. Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, March 5th, 6th and 7th. Talk Marlins baseball with Defoe and the Marlins live from spring training on News Talk and Entertainment Radio, 610 W-I-O-D.
Yeah, you're right. It was sad we missed the open net there. Stu Barnes, calm down, Stewie. Stick it in the open net. We should have won that game last night. But, hey, it's one of those things. We had like uh, two or 300 people left by the end of the game. You talk about people leaving early. Oh, man, did they bail out of there last night? Well, it was about a three-and-a-half-hour game, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, and it was the longest. Man, the officiating was the worst, and they couldn't get their act together. And the linesman wanted to be the stars. Not just the referee, but the linesman wouldn't drop the goddamn puck. They would just stand there and, like, uh, taunt the players. And then the players would get over-anxious. Then they'd throw them out of the face-off circle, and they would do it again and again and and again, and it just never stopped. Well, if they build out in Sunrise, you'll be able to go home between periods and walk the dogs. Right, exactly. So uh, anyway, I don't want to talk... I beg your pardon? I have no idea who that is. Uh, where's the food? Yeah, I didn't recognize him either. Boy, I wouldn't have recognized you for I, all the tea and I know, I had no clue. Is that incredible? What What is it, a new look? Yeah. <laughs> I'm wanted in 17 states. I had to grow a beard. Yeah, and stuff. I, I can imagine that. Too bad you're not wanted by 17 stations. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that's the way it goes. So, excuse you shouldn't have started with that thing about the game because you know him. I didn't say anything. And I know. But I was and wondering. I'm, see, that's a good thing there's no room for your head on the table. Because <laughs> he used to put his head down on the table and get very upset. I of course, now the fact that you know there's four lunches coming, that probably makes you feel a little bit better. Can I take, like, one or two of these calls? I don't want to seem rude, but Miami, hello. Yeah, uh, Neil? Yes, sir? Uh, I'm calling on behalf of the Spirit Restaurant to congratulate you on your 20 years of uh, hardship and torture. Thank you so much. What restaurant is that? The Spirit Restaurant. The Spirit? We would like to donate uh, four tickets to the Grand Prix on, uh, uh, for some uh, lucky listener. Yeah. Uh, for today's uh, race and tomorrow's race. And how do they get them? I, well, they can come by the restaurant, the Spirit, and pick it up. Uh, and what do they do? Have to like how many meals do they have to buy? Twenty or thirty? None. No okay. meals. Okay. I'll bet she gets to give the address now too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course. Well, it's, it's there's chicken. nothing like exploiting my anniversary to plug your restaurant. What's wrong with that? That's yeah. that's the epitome of this town. That's what it's all about. <laughs> I like it. Well, we. Uh, I'm a first time caller. And I've uh, enjoyed your show for years and years. Well, thank and you so much. Where is this joint? I mean, where is this great establishment of yours? Come on. It's on 836 and the uh, Northwest 72nd Avenue, Mount yeah. Dairy Road. Right. And Fat Rich knows all about it. Oh, so Fat Rich put you up to this, huh? No, no he didn't. Sure but, he did. Uh, you know, he's our computer uh, expert. Oh, that's what this is all about. Okay. That's why we're losing okay. money. Okay, great, exactly. <laughs> well, I'll give you some pointers on that later on. <laughs> okay, okay, pal. Good luck to you. All right. Okay. Nice. By the way, also, anybody wants to drive by the airport and uh, see any of our friends over there. What uh, is that all about? I, what I is what about? That? Drive by the airport. I'm sorry. We have a bunch of, uh, they call themselves the Cuban youth, not to be confused with the Buchanan youth. Oh, boy. But the uh, Cuban youth, and they decided that a good way to uh, bring attention to the fact that we had this uh, unfortunate episode last weekend would be to drive very slowly all through the airport at Miami International. Like, you know, <laughs> just drive around very slowly. At least it's not laying down in the streets like we had the last time. So this is a big improvement. We're starting to move in the right direction. I can't believe it. There's, there's public relations, yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. That really gets how to win friends, cause. how to win over the community. They sure understand how to win the rest of the community over to any cause by yeah. getting in everybody's way and getting them pissed <laughs> off and worked up. It's only going to be 86 in the shade today. People are going to be sweating and cursing. It's the weekend. They're trying, trying to get out of town, plane, yeah. trying to catch their plane. And, of course, uh, that's the way. Now, did you drive down here? Did you fly in? What did I, you? I drove down. Drove had, down. Yeah, I had some other stuff to do up in Palm Beach County. Yeah. Oh, you're, so, so just, you are going to J and O. Good luck to you. N nothing to do with radio. So I, oh. I thought I would do this. You're not too. going to J and O. I thought that would have been the great coup that Boy Gary would have had is to bring you on here at J and O. Boy Gary, there. He's starting he Monday morning. He's going to be the PD and do the morning show. Oh what? My God. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Gregory, what is he going to do in the morning? Suck. <laughs> and Gregory Benjamin, what now is moving over to the uh, oh, country? Yeah, what is country, it? Country club. Country. Are you? Uh, of course, 95. you know that's the reason that nobody knows who you are anymore, Skylers, because you're always off mic anyway. Yeah. Well, I was just trying to, you know, shout through Tom Jicka's head. No, but, yeah. he's trying to do the Dave Caprita style. That's you know, right. Well, that's right on the floor. Well, when the gets here, yeah. try it. Try it. <laughs> yeah. On the floor. And then in about two weeks, we'll get a call for you asking for money. Now wait a minute. Yeah. Gregory Benjamin is going to play country. Is that what you're saying? That's what right. you're saying. This is mind And the worst part of it is he finally found a niche there. He had like an eight share or something in the morning on JNO. Yeah. Only by default, I guess. But he was doing well. And now he's going over to the country because Gary uh, Bruce is coming in. Yeah. 
and well, doing the more. Well, not just that. He can't stand the other assholes who are in management there, with whom uh, Gary Bruce is will fit in perfectly. Is anybody supposed to be hearing you or what? Ah, I'm no. speaking right into a damn microphone. Yeah. Oh, well, it's not turned on. Maybe that's why you're not on the air anymore. Maybe yeah. your voice just doesn't carry, you know? No. He's got the microphone all the way down his throat, and you still can't hear him. Just want to say that Gary Bruce will fit in perfectly oh, with the other duplicitous you know, assholes at WJNO. Thank you, and good night. You know what we have to play now? What the hell was that name of that thing uh, that you did? Oh, the thing. Well, there were two of them. Could you be more vague? No, the one, 20, 20 years. The one, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. First, there was... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Nobody's going to talk this up? I don't think so. Jeez, I'm offended. I'm going <laughs> home don't now. Don't step on it. Wow. Has he still got it or what? I but, hope so. But the... But uh, I can't give it away. That's the problem. No, but wait a minute. The the one that... Here it is. This is the one that was the award winner. Mm. So anyway... Yeah. We're expecting Phil Salzman to call any second now. <laughs> and the food is here. We want to thank Boone again profusely. <laughs> There's enough food here to feed the Chinese army. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> one open line a day and one in flowering. <laughs> mm. Mm. Boy, this is good. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Nothing. Everything's fine. I'm just sitting here, and you're over there cackling. I think Calder was right about you. Just relax. What, bird? Here, give me your finger. Now stick your finger in this piece of pita bread, okay? Okay. I guess some of the food has arrived anyway, huh? <laughs> Mm. Thanks, JC. Man. Don't stay way too I long. Bit, I just bit your finger off, and you're still laughing. Mm. And, and you know what? It's not bad. You got nine more of these, right? Yes. Yeah, put a little melted mozzarella on this, and you really got something. And it's okay on the Atkins, too, is what I understand. Oh, good. That may have been the best thing Skyler ever did. I think so. Jesus. I think right there. But then it was, was gonna, yeah, yeah, there was always Young Neil. Yeah, well, that's kind of in a different yeah, genre. Yeah. They, they can not... play the CDs if they want to hear that one. So that's old. Oh, look at that. There's my check from the sisters for three million. This is from David Caton. From David Caton. That's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Okay. It uh, sounds like it's ticking, too. Thanks a lot, David. Okay. And, uh, you know, the American Flickers Association. Okay, look at this. Stuff is coming in here. Boy, this makes me feel like I've almost accomplished something here for 20 years, like learning how to be a freeloader. That's really what I've learned. That's what I should have said on both of those articles. The only thing I've really learned in 20 years is how to be a good schnorrer. What is it, six stations? We're well, trying to figure it out. Melissa was asking me, and I said, I How many stations have I been on? How come I can't? Is that mic really, like, working or what? I have it open, but it doesn't <laughs> seem to be doing that. because well. Jicka keeps moving it, and oh. he has to dump the pot because he's doing this like there's an earthquake yeah. in here. How many stations have I been on? K-A-T, uh, N-W-S, I-N-Z, Zeta, and here. That's only five last time I checked. Did I leave anybody out? Let me think. You double duty at one, though, didn't you? What do you mean by that? Didn't you? Where was it? You, was it I-N-Z? You left and came back? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. No? No, well, N-W-S, I left for a month and went to Nashville. And came oh, back. that's right. Yeah. 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 The, but that, famous, like, yeah. the famous Nashville yeah. trip. Yeah, W-L-A-C. That was a lot of fun. They tend to be a little clannish up there in Tennessee. C or a K or however you want to spell it. Yeah, that was like a little bit of vacation. These people are definitely not going to wait. Here's uh, Dr. Vots. Dr. Watt. Neil, I just call to give you congratulations for your 20 years of, of loyal community service. Thanks, Doc. And uh, I hear you did a great show last Sunday night, too, by the way. I, I, That's uh, what you told I me. I had a good time, and I got a lot of callers. And I all set up. Them. I got news for you. If I could set up all my calls like you did, I have a full board every day, too. <laughs> well, I didn't tell them what to say when they called, and I just let a lot of people know that I was going to be on. And you, right. You've always told me that only about 1% of the listeners ever call in. So I figure if I let 150 people know I was going to be on, then 1.5 people would call in. But yeah. it worked out better than that. Uh huh. Anyway, you wearing that candy cane jacket today? No, I'm not. I burned that. Yeah. yeah. You sound like you're absolutely glowing. I buried it with your cola katzentine at the cat. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's I buried it right next to Yeah, it's way over your head. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm calling to compliment you on your communication skills, your cooperation, and I think you're a great example of how people can take care of themselves and get themselves healthier as they, shall we say, mature. And you also called to thank me for uh, reminding you of the Atkins diet and all the weight you've lost. Probably. Oh, absolutely. I no, would... you, you, you've been as good for me. I hope, I hope I've been as good for you as you've been for me. Now, since you did that, that uh, audition there on Sunday on that Neil Won't Like It show, did Steve Nichol call you back? No, he never did. Let's just go get drunk. Well, listen, just, just sit there by the phone. Let your patients cool their heels. Sit there by the phone. No. It's uh, That call's coming any second. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the funny part is that he makes a show called Neil Won't Like It. Yeah. But if you'd heard it, you probably would have liked it, so he can't even make a show that Neil won't like. There you go. Oh, you want to bet? <laughs> <laughs> Tune in the rest of the weekend, Mark. We'll see ya. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Now, like that the speaking, doctor's calling. Speaking of weekend shows yeah. at IOD. Oh, is that what you're doing here? Believe me, we could use you now. No, no, I'm not Trust speaking me. of me. Desperately. I, I have heard rumors yeah. that one Irene Richard is going to be doing a weekend talk show Boy. at WIOD. Is this true? Well, I didn't want to let it out of the bag. The rumor has it that we have a travel show starting on yes, the weekend, and the hostess is going to be... <laughs> it really is Irene Richard. How do you like that? So it is true. Can you believe that I still have that card by <laughs> That huh? card is... Uh... Is she on right after Meg Green? No, Meg's uh, history. She's too big for us now. She's on Channel 4. She's a big star in Hour 6 or whichever one it is. 6, right? She's all over the place. Nobody giving knows. that bogus information to her. How do you find programs in this market? This is, TV stations are all weird, you know. They're all well, you don't move to Lakeland and you keep track of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to do it. And by the way, speaking of the weather theory, uh, I noticed, it was it your column today? I forget who wrote it. I try to avoid looking at that. But anyway, I think Tom had the column about, yeah, about the uh, ratings still suck at Channel not, 4. Yeah, they're eighth in an eight-station eight, uh, eight station field. Yikes. See, they had that big interest there in the beginning. You know, when they first, the first day when Brian came on, they, they, plus they had, like, they saturated us and every station in the market with spots to promote the fact that Brian Norcross, the weather fairy, was going to be the news fairy. And so the <laughs> first day in the overnights, it looked like, oh, my God, the Channel 4 ratings are going through the roof. Do you know they, they fired Barbara Sloan? Did Amazing. you know Barbara? Yes. One of the nicest, yes. one of the best. I mean, everybody there loved her. She was a real pro. Real pro. She was yeah. great. She was one of the sweetest people I've ever met in my life. And they canned her ass because they wanted to bring in some young bimbet. And then they wanted to bring uh, Brian over there for whatever. And I, well, to do what are they news? thinking about this guy? Well, this guy's not a guys, news guy. They've got a lot of... My, this is just my opinion, but I think you're going to see that as everyone's contract runs out, every one of the old people there will be let go. Really? That's my opinion. Not Dave Game. Cool. They did take him off. They well, to cut the food beds at the <laughs> out a lot, I'll tell you that. And the old Channel 4 call letters, WTVJ, is now Channel 6. Right. The NBC station. <laughs> yeah. and, and what wonder, a concept. And you wonder why I'm confused. And Channel 4 is, uh, yeah, see, yeah. Like, like Tom said, uh, you know, move to Lakeland and you'll find out a lot about what's there. It's not really that tough, you know. Okay. Because you look on the air. Well, I'm kind of overwhelmed. You see Tony Segreto without the suspenders. You know you're on the TV today. Oh, okay. And you see uh, Dave Game covering the screen, blanketing your screen. You <laughs> well, know you you're on FOR. Yeah. yeah. They took him off the air. Yeah, I just kind of. They did? Yeah, because they wanted you to see the new Bin Bet news anchors. Uh, and he was kind of blocking the so view. Kind of <laughs> overwhelmed. But you did do, speaking of TV, you did do one nice thing for me. When you were up in Tampa a couple of years ago. Yeah. You really, very strongly told me that I must get a satellite dish. Yeah. And did I you did. Do it? Yes, I did. A big dish? Yes. Great. I've had it for about almost two and a half years. You know that Tom had a dish before I did even. Yeah. I almost talked you into it. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I really enjoy it. It's very good. I just wanted to In mention fact, that. In fact, Fat Rich was the one that got me my first dish, illegally, of course, with some uh, Arab from uh, Israel or somewhere. <laughs> and then, so that means Tom and you and I and Rich, that's four people in one room. Skylar, of course, can't afford a dish. I haven't got cable. Yeah. Not if he what? Could afford, he can't even afford a set, Living much less a uh, Yeah. Now, I know you're kidding. I mean, it's yeah, like, you do, do you? <laughs> well, I'm sure the reason. Got any that, openings at ABC Liquors by any chance? So he doesn't have cable. I'm sure the reason that Glenn got the dishes, you don't want to miss all that sports. Right. They do sports on the dish? In fact, probably the first channel you got was GN so you could see all the Cub games. Because I know you were a big fan. Why would you want a dish if you don't want to watch sports? Oh, I didn't, know they, had, I didn't know they had it on there. <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't know Channel 4 and Channel 6, I mean. <laughs> He's watching the Sundance channel. But didn't, uh, didn't I see this hockey game a few weeks ago and... Uh, the puck was like glowing blue, yeah. you know, and they hit it and it goes zoom, and you could see That's it. Exactly. You could How was see it, it going to go? 
<laughs> that was exactly how it went. Yeah. There's a, there's something you might be thinking about doing. Do the uh, audio, the sound effects for the Fox tracks. Boom. Yeah. Sure. That's exactly how it well, went. They just don't understand that. They think that people don't watch the game. You know, this whole thing about not following the puck. There aren't that many hockey fans. They have to develop hockey fans. They don't need blue lights around the yeah, well, but Everything that Fox appeals to is like a prepubescent mentality. That's their whole idea. Every, all of their program is presented at that level. So they figure even if it's a hockey game, they have to appeal to little kids. And the little kids loved it. Anybody over the age of 10 hated it because, you know, it just interfered with your enjoyment of the game. And it, it's like it was while watching a video game. I've never heard a hockey fan say they had a problem. No, the guy from John Shannon who produces Hockey Night in Canada said they've been doing their show for 50 years. They've never had one call from anybody <laughs> saying, I can't see the puck. Why don't you do something? I can't follow the puck. But, hey, that's Fox for you. That's, that's Chris Moore has some problems following the puck. Well, there you go. Speaking of Fox. So, anyway, it's 10.54. He'll be out next year. 10.54 at WIOD for almost 50 years. Mike Cigars in Bay Harbor. What happened to Henry, by the way? Is he? Oh, look at that. He took the flask with him, and he's on the floor. <laughs> well, I told you he could be the next Dave Caprita. For almost 50 years, Mike Cigars in Bay Harbor has been the place for the serious cigar lover. And you haven't heard our Saturday show with Cigar Dave, by the way. What? Smoke. See, you're overwhelming me with all this information. This yeah, we have a show called Smoke This. Smoke this. Right. And if Channel 4 wants to loan us Brian Norcross on a weekend, next, <laughs> no, we could have a show called Suck This. Over 50,000 customers and 3,000 retail outlets all over the world come to Mike's for the best in premium cigars. So how about you? Stop by. I said Brian Andrews, didn't I? Stop by Mike's Cigars and try the huge selection of handmade premium imported cigars. Over, even I liked it. Over 1,000 different brands like Licenciados. Mm. Well, I don't think I did that right. But George isn't listening, thank God. Licenciados. That's what I just said. You no, said, you didn't. You said you Licenciados said, again. I said Licenciados. Bausa. Yes. <laughs> Mama May West. And the 898 collection. In fact, there's over 10 million cigar, 10 million cigars wow. in stock every day at Mike's. That's a frightening thing. They also have an extensive. Uh, st uh, they have a bunch of stuff: smoking <laughs> accessories, all that good stuff. Even humidors imported from Italy and Espana. They're open every day till six, Monday and Thursday till nine. You'll find them at 10:30 K Course in Bay Harbor. If you want to put something solid in your mouth, this is the place to find it. Mike Cigars. If, if you want a free catalog in Miami, call 866-2277. Toll free from out of Miami. It's 1-800-962-4. 4427. Even Cigar Dave, who's a Jewish guy from Tampa, by the way, loves Mike Cigars. The opinions expressed by the host, guests, or callers on WIOD are not necessarily those of the station or its sponsors. All WIOD programs are copyright 1996 by WIOD Incorporated. No tape recordings or transcripts may be created or distributed without prior written consent of WIOD Incorporated. Ay, Dios mío, esos carros. Okay, there's a little sample of our traffic that's coming up at the top of the hour. No, seriously, that's our new criteria that uh, you have to, first of all, not speak very good English, and you have to have a great ass. Yeah. Or, in the case of the morning traffic guy, be a great ass. So how do you like how our is new... She, how, how is she going to report them driving slowly at the airport? <laughs> very slowly and very carefully, and, have, and probably in heavily Spanish, so we don't understand it. Yeah, we have a new traffic service that's, uh, you got to admit, something new and different. It's called Incoherent Unintelligible Traffic. But so I never see, we never know if they're accurate or not because you can't understand what they're saying. <laughs> on the on the dish, some yeah. very interesting programming out of uh, Mexico. I right, mean, you see some of that. You know, he's the only one that watches Morales. Telemundo.